If you want proof, then I'll provide it. I'm transmitting several classified Tal Shiar files to your ship now. Read through them, analyze them yourself, and then you'll see the truth. Ditan and his kind are terrorists and a threat to the survival of the Romulan people. After that, I hope you'll reconsider your options. The Tal Shiar are trying to help the Romulan people, and you should be fighting for us. We've been fighting for you all this time.
Captain, we're getting two different stories here. One from Charva, and one from these documents. Analysis of the files shows that either Charva is trying deliberately to mislead us, or that she's being misled herself. Since she seems to firmly believe what she's telling us, I'm not completely comfortable disregarding her information out of hand. I recommend that we speak to Commander Tal Mera on Drozana Station. She has contacts in the intelligence community that we don't. She should be able to either confirm or deny our findings. Welcome to Josanna. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave, and a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the 77th rule of acquisition. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. Was there something you needed? Tall Shiar files. I'm sure there's a good story behind how you came into possession of these. Let's see what you have. What sort of information do you need? Personally, I'd regard anything given to you by a Tal Shiar operative with suspicion. They are masters of misinformation and misdirection. We can do that. Show me what you have and what parts of them are troubling you. 
I've seen some interesting works of fiction, but nothing that compares to this. Deton and Lortrix working together? On a Riemann mining colony? Huh, I don't think so. Can you see Deton in a Dilithia mine? And Lortrix was storing weapons for Deton? Why? There have to be better places we can stash supplies than in an enemy colony. And this section about Deton working with Starfleet to target colonies for terrorist attacks is ridiculous. Neither Deton or the Federation would do such a thing. I'm detecting that sections of the file have been altered. That's probably why it reads like a bad spy story. According to my records, Deton was in contact with Starfleet, but he was talking to them about which colonies needed agricultural aid. And there were weapons on Chaltok, as you well know. But not only were they making weapons for the Herogen, they were targeting Romulan militia targets, including the flotilla. Now, I didn't realize that Lortrix and Deton knew each other, but apparently they do. They interacted once during negotiations during a worker's strike at a Riemann mining facility. It's funny how people from such different worlds and outlooks can interact. Deton was talking to the Federation about colonies near our borders, but it wasn't to target them for attack. It was to disarm and I'm not surprised that Lortrix was aiming weapons at our targets. Although I don't think he was doing so at the request of the Herogen. Also, I think it was a coincidence that Deton and Lortrix were acquainted. Lortrix once worked for the Riemann Mining Cooperative, but he wasn't exactly a model employee. In fact, he was one of the leaders of a strike that turned violent. The Riemanns brought in a group of negotiators to help end the crisis. Deton was one of the people they invited. He helped negotiate a settlement, and Lortrix was one of the representatives of the workers during those negotiations. Was there something you needed? Tall Shiar files. I'm sure there's a high... We can do that. Show me what you have and what parts of them are troubling you. I'm detecting several abnormalities in this file. It looks like portions of it have been altered. We should corroborate these reports in order to determine which facts are actually true and which are Tal Shiar fabrications. Here's what we know and can confirm from our files. Deton did smoke. Deton has been working with colony leaders for years, including the Maori and others at Viranov. However, since the Empress and the Tal Shiar often retaliate against people who are friendly to our movement, in the past, we've tried to keep those contacts as quiet as possible. Your colony had some talented engineers who were willing to help flotilla ships. Deton provided crates full of ship parts, smuggled from other friendly settlements. Your engineers repaired allied ships who needed help. But Deton is a man of peace. I can't ever see him wanting to smuggle weapons, especially not to a civilian site. Of course, because the people at Viranaut risked their safety to help our ships, Deton helped them in return. One of the ways the Tal Shiar keeps control over colony worlds is by denying or diverting needed supplies. Before the attack, Viranaut's population had outgrown its water treatment capabilities. They tried to acquire another water filtration unit, but were blocked by lost shipments, denied paperwork, and other bureaucratic hassles. It could have meant disease and deprivation for your people. So the Maori reached out to Deton. He provided the water reclamation equipment Viranaut needed, and even helped the colonists conceal it so it couldn't be damaged in a convenient accident. And yes, we do spend a great deal of time and effort gathering intel on both Starfleet and Klingon Empire, but we're not studying their defenses. We're learning about their political climates. Our relationships with the Klingons and Starfleet are still very fragile. They're being strengthened by people like you. But a shift in attitudes on the High Council or the Federation Council could mean disaster for us. The more we know about what's happening, the better we can react to it. I'm not saying that Deton is a complete innocent. None of us are. The political information could be used to sway decisions in our favor. The ship part and water reclamation equipment were smuggled illegally. 
but you have to look at the intent behind Deton's actions. He's trying to help people, not tear them down. We can do that. Show me what you have and what parts of them are troubling you. I've seen some interesting works of fiction, but nothing that compares to this. D According to my records, Deton was in contact with... St Deton was talking to the Federation about colonies near our borders, but it wasn't to target them for attack. It was to discern which ones had the greatest need for agricultural assistance. A lot of the newer colonies are having a rough time trying to establish themselves. Deton believes that the more prosperous colonies have a responsibility to help support others. That's why he was talking to the Federation. He was asking if they would be willing to assist as well. Unfortunately, once the rumor of terrorist attacks entered the mix, the Federation Council broke off aid talks. And I'm not surprised that Lortrix was aiming weapons at our targets, although I don't think he was doing so at the request of the Herogen. The Tal Shiar has a way of getting into everything, and we know that they were monitoring that colony. A Tal Shiar operative could have manipulated Lortrix into aiming some of the weapons at Romulan Republic targets. If they were fired, then we'd lose big, and a neutral colony would be blamed for the attack. Also, I think it was a coincidence that Deton and Lortrix were acquainted. Lortrix once worked for the Riemann Mining Cooperative, but he wasn't exactly a model employee. In fact, he was one of the leaders of a strike that turned violent. The Riemanns brought in a group of negotiators to help end the crisis. Deton was one of the people they invited. He helped negotiate a settlement, and Lortrix was one of the representatives of the workers during those negotiations. I doubt they've ever spoken to one another again once the strike ended. I think the Tal Shiar are conducting quite an effective smear campaign against Deton and our movement. It's our responsibility to see through their deceptions. We can do that. Show me what you have and what parts of them are troubling you. Huh. I didn't realize that the Tal Shiar had transferred prisoners to the King Kuthansa system penal colony. Probably because there isn't a penal colony in the King Kuthansa system. That's not the only discrepancy I'm detecting in this file. There's distinct signs of tampering. We need to figure out what they altered, and why. Here's what I know. Most Tal Shiar prisoners fall off the grid completely. We don't know where they are taken or what's being done to them, and that troubles Deton a great deal. We have, however, heard of a Tal Shiar facility called Installation 18 that appears to be a holding facility. Some prisoners would likely be taken there. As far as I know, your friend's sister has never been in the Feban system, much less been captured there. We did lose a militia ship there a few weeks ago, and one of my agents Subcommander Avron is still in Tal Shiar custody. Avron was trying to steal supplies from a Tal Shiar convoy when he was captured. It was risky, but they had critical supplies we couldn't get any other way. We don't know what the Tal Shiar is doing with their prisoners, but a lot more people are missing than we can account for. We have, however, found several references to a place called Installation 18. We're still tracking down where this facility is and what they're doing there. But we know that prisoners are taken there for an unknown purpose. Rina Kev hasn't shown up on any of our lists of the missing, but I have found references to someone with that name being a crew member on a cargo transport. As far as I know, the ship she was working on has never been to the Feban system. But if your friend can't find her, I'd be concerned. The Tal Shiar has a nasty habit of making people disappear. We did lose a ship in the Feban system recently, a small scout vessel. Its commander was one of my agents, and we have confirmed that Subcommander Avron is being held in Tal Shiar custody. Subcommander Avron was there doing reconnaissance for me. 
Tall Shi'ar convoys pass through that region of space, and there was one convoy that had vital supplies we need. The plan was a long shot at best, but Avron knew the risks when he took the assignment. Now that Avron is in custody and the convoy has made it safely to its destination, all we can do is try to figure out how to soldier on without the components that were in those ships. Did Deton know about the plan to attack a Tal Shi'ar convoy? Yes. Does that make us criminals and terrorists? That's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. We can do that. Show me what you have and what parts of them are troubling you. We're fighting for our independence and the future of the Romulan race. We're short on supplies and allies and beset by enemies that see nothing wrong with murder, torture, and kidnapping. And they call us the terrorists. We've had to make some difficult decisions, roads that none of us wanted to take. But nothing we've done is anything as terrible as what the Tal Shiar is accusing Deton of doing. There are no innocents in a war, and that includes Deton. At least his motivations are clear. And I can't see what the Tal Shiar has to gain by framing him for these crimes. Captain, Charb is convinced that these files are genuine. She wouldn't be pushing us this hard otherwise. We need to sit down and show her the discrepancies we've discovered, preferably in front of a Tal Shi'ar computer, so we can open her eyes to the truth. If we contact her and say we're ready to join the Tal Shi'ar, but we need to discuss these files first, maybe she'll take us somewhere where we can prove to her that she's been lied to. There's a subspace communications hub in the lounge on Drozana Station's observation level that we can use to contact Charva. I wasn't expecting to hear from you so soon. Are you ready to join the Tal Shi'ar? I take it that everything I provided checked out to your satisfaction? That's a fair request. The Tal Shi'ar maintains a clandestine network of satellites throughout the Quadrant. There's a listening post that's part of this network in the Aja system. It's near your current position and off the trade routes, so we should be able to meet privately. It's also connected to the rest of the Tal Shi'ar network, so we can go over the data in detail. I'm glad you've seen the light. You're joining the right side. Was there something you needed? It's remote and has little strategic value. If you're planning some shore leave after this is over, I'd suggest you go to Ryza instead. I can tell you, you're probably flying into a trap. The Tal Shi'ar invests a great deal of time and effort to spin a web of lies. They don't look favorably on people who try to expose them for what they are. If you're going to go, at least take some backup. That won't be too difficult. You've made a lot of friends. Send out a subspace burst if you need some assistance in the Aza system. They'll be waiting for your signal.
Captain, we're detecting another ship in the system. It's Charva's ship, the IRW Aethra. They're signaling to us that Charva has already beamed over to the listening post, and that you and I should join her. But they say only us. We can't take a full away team. hope we're able to make Charva see reason. She doesn't seem willing to accept that tall she are is at the root of many of the problems of the Romulan people. It's not going to be easy to convince her. I am so glad to hear that you are considering my offer of joining the tall she are. They offer safety and stability to all Romulans. You will not regret your decision. I cannot blame you for wanting to do your due diligence. Seeing as you are about to join our ranks, I do not think the Tal Shi'ar would mind if we took a look at some of the intelligence files used to generate the reports I gave you. Just do not tell any of my superiors that we did this. You do not have clearance yet. This cannot be right. Hmm. It appears as if some of the information that was included in the report I gave you does not line up with what is here. Several of the facts have been changed either here or in the report, and the results skew any conclusions that could be drawn. But I thought... These recordings don't line up with the report either. What's going on here? Who could have tampered with this evidence? Has this file been tampered with? This is the same story as the others. This evidence doesn't match the report I shared with you. You knew about this, didn't you? That's why you had me look at these files. Did you alter this data to make me look bad? Are you trying to sabotage my career with the Tal Shiar? We were sent here by Commander Morris to take you into custody. You are accused of undermining the Romulan Empire and crimes unbefitting of a Romulan. Tovan Kev, you are accused of aiding a known fugitive and conspiring against the Tall Shar. Charva, you are relieved of command of your ship, pending the outcome of a court-martial. If you're lucky, that's all that will happen to you for betraying the Tall Shar.
need to get out of here and return to our ship before the Tall Shi'ar send any more troops down here. Charva, you should come with us. You won't be safe with the Tall Shi'ar. I've been informed by my Tal Shi'ar superiors that you and Charva are now to be considered enemies of the state. My orders are to apprehend you, alive if possible, but dead will work almost as well. Surrender, and I will be merciful to your crew. Resist, and let their deaths be on your head. If you insist, how about a fleet of Tal Shiar warships? Will that convince you to surrender? Think of your crew. Spare them the pain and suffering this meaningless gesture will cause. Commander Nadell is commanding the RRW Dehu. She has requested we transport Charvo aboard so she can be taken to the proper authorities. Welcome aboard. Is this the Tall Shar prisoner? This way, please. I'll lead you to it. No. They're doing what they can for our people. I was the one who failed to live up to their expectations. And you were the one who steered me wrong. Just like Deton has done to you. Captain, Charva was a close friend, and we couldn't even convince her of our cause. We need to find something substantial to expose the Tal Shi'ar. Charva's alive, but I expect she's going to face a lot of questions from intelligence. But if we couldn't change her mind, what will it take to convince the Romulan people? How do we gather the proof we need? For now, we've done all we can. I recommend we leave the system before any Tal Shi'ar reinforcements arrive. You've done commendable work exposing the duplicitous nature of the Tal Shi'ar. But there is still more work to be done in order to actually discover what they've been up to. It's a shame that Charva is resisting our efforts to turn her to our cause. Perhaps with enough time, she'll see the Tall Sharp for the traitors to the Romulan people that they really are. In any event, you are proving to be a formidable addition to this fleet. Time is short. What do you need of me? <laughs> <laughs> 